Hey guys, today we're going to continue our lesson on measuring, and we're going to focus today on measuring cups. There's essentially two types of measuring cups. There's a wet measuring cup and a dry measuring cup. We're going to work a lot with the dry measuring cup in a little bit, so let's talk about the dry measuring or the wet measuring cup right now. A wet measuring cup is made for measuring liquids like water and milk and oil and anything else that's, that's liquid. Most of the time these measuring cups are made of glass or plastic or something else that's see-through because the writing is usually on the sides and you got to be able to see through to make sure you're measuring the right liquid. Another characteristic of the wet measuring cup is that it has a spout on the end of it. So that way whenever you're pouring it you can direct where that pour goes into a bowl or into a cup without spilling it all over the place. As I said a minute ago, the measuring cup, the wet measuring cup, has the gradients on the side, the measurements on the side of it. In this case, it has the quarter cup, the half cup, the three quarters cup, and the one cup at the top. Okay, so this is a one cup measuring cup. You can get a two cup, you can get a four cup, you can get some really big measuring cups, um, just depending on what and how much of stuff that you're measuring. But a one cup is very common to have in the house. So this is a wet measuring cup and it really only works with material that's wet, okay? Today we're going to focus a lot of our measuring practice on the dry measuring cup because it's a little easier, especially to do at your desks, to work with stuff that's dry. It's a lot, it's a lot easier to pick up stuff that's dry than, than mop up spilled liquid all over the place if we make a mistake, right? So we're going to focus on these dry measuring cups. And it comes in the same gradients. The gradients are the different types of measurements. So in this case, we have the one cup, which is the biggest. We have the half cup, which is half the size of the one cup. We have the one third cup. And we have the quarter cup, which will be the smallest one we deal with today. So dry measuring cups are for measuring all the dried food and dried ingredients that we're going to use. If you're using flour or sugar or brown sugar, or in this case, we're going to be measuring beans. Um, but anything dry will be going into a, a dry measuring cup. So this is how we're going to practice with this uh, with this unit. We're going to take our cards. For instance, I have a one cup measuring cup. So you're going to shuffle the stack of cards, and you're going to pull the cup. Uh, the instruction out and this one is a one cup so you're gonna find the one cup which is the biggest one and in this case you're going to pour the beans into the measuring cup slowly trying not to spill it until it's level and you get a little shake and you see that it's level so that's one cup of beans then if you want you can also find the container that says one cup on it and then you're going to take that one cup of beans and you're going to slowly pour it into that one cup just like this is our mixing bowl we have to take it from the container that it's in measure it and then dump it into the pot that we're cooking with or the the, the bowl that we're mixing with or the pan that we're cooking in, you're going to have to take it from its source to the cup to the cooking vessel whenever you're, whenever you're making your food. So that's why we're doing it this way. This is why we're practicing. So now we have one cup of beans, just like the one cup said. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. I'm going to dump these back in carefully, now I'm not to spill them. And we're going to do... I pulled out a quarter of a cup, okay? So we're going to find our quarter cup measuring cup. It's got the one and the four on it. That's the quarter cup. Just like what we did with the spoons 
you guys remember that it was a quarter tablespoon it was the same thing as this quarter cup except for that it's this is a quarter cup and not a quarter tablespoon so it's a lot bigger so we're gonna we found the quarter cup and in this case it's a little easier because of the size of the container in one instance we had to pour the the beans into the measuring cup this one we can try scooping scooping is a whole nother world in itself whenever we scoop we want to dig down so that way whenever we come back up we have a full quarter cup okay if you try just getting in there at the very top you're not going to get the full quarter cup you actually have to go down but you have to do it in a way that you're not spilling the beans all over the place whenever you bring it back up see how they're about to spill you got to dig down in the back and pull it up straight up trying to get those beans to stay in this and fill this at the same time these are a lot of steps guys so if you make a little bit of a mess you just clean them up just put them back in there it's okay nobody's gonna eat these and it's just for practice so then we're gonna find our our quarter cup vessel and we're gonna pour these in here slowly trying not to make a mess and then that's it Okay, there's one more challenge that I want you guys to do while you're while you're doing this. And that is sometimes we need more than just one cup or more than just a quarter cup. Sometimes you need to put them together and you need to do a one quarter cup of beans or a one quarter cup of rice or a one quarter cup of flour, whatever it is. So you'll have to fill the one cup with the beans, trying not to spill them, I'm trying to get it all the way to the top, and kind of shake it to level it out, and then you put that in your container. So are we done? We've only got one cup, and we need one quarter cup. So we got one cup in there, so now we have to get our quarter cup. So we scoop down to the bottom, we pull up one full quarter cup, and we dump that into our container. Now, we fulfilled a recipe and we have one quarter cup, okay? Guys, anything that you make, anything you cook, any type of food, but it goes beyond food too. I mean, if you're, if you're putting other things together, you might have to measure liquids, okay? There's different... There's, uh, there's all different types of uses for measuring with measuring spoons and measuring cups, just like we're doing today, okay? Um, but practice this, get good at it. Use all these cards that I made um, to figure out what you're going to do. And think about what opportunities you'd have to doing this. If you're working in a kitchen, if you're working in a restaurant, if you're just making food for yourself. Um, if you're doing laundry, you have to do a certain measurement for the for the laundry. Um, it, all sorts of things. There's a lot of different things that you do. You'll you'll utilize measuring. So practice this and get good at it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.